sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or a cocktail, and enjoy the speech I was going to give at the World Youth Forum. I'd like Forum. to welcome the World Youth Forum to Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, one of the most fantastic places you may ever visit in your life. My name is, well, I'm known as Dr. Fantastic, founder of Be Fantastic International, and the reason they call me Dr. Fantastic is because I have the prescription for a happier and longer life, which I'm going to give you today. It's three commitments to kindness. Be Fantastic International spreads kindness, teaches kindness, and encourages people to choose kindness. Now, I'm very happy to report that I have 3,722 ambassadors of kindness around the world. When you adopt the three commitments to kindness, you become what's called an ambassador of kindness. And in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, I have 750 ambassadors, from the governor to the mayor, to the, the pioneers of the city, to the vendors, and to the taxi drivers. They're all fantastic. It's a fantastic place. I started my journey 647 days ago when I left California. Uh, my journey is to go around the world and spread kindness. That's what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm happy to be here to tell you all about it. So, 647 days ago, I gave up all my worldly possessions. I gave, I gave, I ended my 38-year marriage, and I packed my favorite fork, knife, and spoon, and some clothes, threw it in my car, drove 22, through 22 states in America every day, making a video about kindness, about positivity. I stopped in many cities and towns, gave speeches to the local schools, to the communities, to the companies, and to the government agencies. I love making this speech, which you're about to hear, and it will change your life, and will change, hopefully, the world. So, um, basically, uh, there are three commitments to kindness. First and foremost, I believe that you should be kind to yourself. Love yourself. You know, uh, I, I like to use Danny DeVito as an example. He's short, fat, and ugly, and he found love because he loves himself. You, you come first in life. Your opinion is the only one that matters in life because everyone's opinion about you has an agenda for them. So accept yourself as you are. I'm, I'm, I'm an older person. I'm an old man, like some people say. I think like a 26-year-old. At 17 years old, and hitchhiking around the world, the first time, uh, I became 26. And I've been 26 ever since. I've been 26 for 50 years now. So it's a great age to be, to think, to live. I think, therefore, I am. I am, to one of, one of the most important words in the English language. So love yourself, accept as you are. Believe in yourself. Be positive about everything you do. Know that each turn you make in life is the correct turn. Because you made a decision to turn left or turn right. I've got an audience out there for the cat. Um, and those decisions that you make are correct. When you believe that they're correct, you're going to get confidence in your decision making. And with that confidence, you're going to get success in life. And with success in life, you're going to get happiness. And that's what we're all here for. To live a life of happiness, of kindness. You know, we don't, we don't know how long we're going to be on the planet. My parents passed away when I was nine years old, so they didn't get a long life. Hopefully they had a happy life. That's really all that really matters. So I'm here to give you a, a, show you the way to happiness and a longer life with the three commitments to kindness. Going on, I can talk about it for an hour, how important it is to be kind to yourself. The analogy I use is when you're on an airplane and the oxygen mask drops, they say put it on first, then help others. Fantastic analogy. Because you can't help others unless you're, you're happy. Okay? Your children, your family, your, your spouse, your friends. So you come first. Be positive about everything you do. And uh, enough about that. Now, we live with 7 billion people on the planet. So the second most important commitment in life is to be kind to everyone else. All colors and creeds and the creatures. Now, I can go on for another hour on how important it is to be kind to others. But when I, when I say this... Say kind words. The word fantastic is one of the most fantastic kind words you can say in your life. 
It carries with it energy, positivity, kindness, and love. In one word, words matter. The words you say matter. The words I say matter. Every, words have power. They affect water. We're 70% water. So when you say a kind word to someone, you make them feel fantastic in their mind and physiologically. When you, when you shout at a child or another person, you're affecting their water, or their, the molecules of water inside their body and their mind. Look up the Kyoto Water Study. They looked at water when it was treated nicely, with kind and love, kindness and love, and it was pristine and beautiful. When it was shouted out, shouted out, shouted at, um, it, was, it was distorted. So we're affected by water, by words, and we're full of water, and words matter. Use fantastic. Say, have a fantastic day. When you meet someone, they say, how are you? Say, I am fantastic. The energy is a, a palpable. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It really does work. I've asked 5,000 people, over 5,000. I stopped asking this question um, after months of asking it. Have you ever met someone in your life that says they're fantastic when asked how they are? Now, 112 people have said yes. And to the person, they never, ever forgot that person in their life. And I've, I've, I've interviewed 70 year old people that 50 years ago met someone that said they were fantastic. Never forgot them. So when you say the word fantastic, you look great because it makes you smile. You feel great because it releases endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin in your brain. And you live longer because those neural messaging units release stress. Science says. When you smile, you live five minutes longer. When you laugh, an hour longer. A lot of people laugh when I say, my name is Dr. Fantastic. That makes me feel fantastic because I made them live longer. It's an act of kindness to say, oh, well, there you go. It's an act of kindness to say you are fantastic. Or have a fantastic day. You know, I'm just pretending I have a microphone because this is the speech to the world, to the world's youth. And... Not only do we, we need to teach the youth of the world kindness, but we, we, we need to remind everyone else about kindness. So the word fantastic is really quite amazing. It means unimaginably great and beautiful. While the word good, which a lot of people use, means morally right. Now, this is the part where I give a history lesson. I don't know if I said earlier, I'm going to give you a little history lesson today, maybe a laugh or two. Uh, I'm going to give you a little inspiration, a little motivation, and uh, some knowledge. So, how many out there in the crowd have been asked today, how are you? Okay, you're all raising your hand. That's fantastic. Everybody, every day, in every country gets asked how they are upon meeting another person. Uh, and it's not really a question anymore. It's a statement because people really don't want to hear the answer and they don't have time to hear the answer. So, I found out the history of the question. So here's your history lesson for the day. 673 years ago, it was a long time ago, I was just a little kid at the time, it came out, the world had a pandemic. It was a, actually a plague, worse than the pandemic we're having now. It was a plague. 200 million people died of it. It was called the Black Plague, or some people called it the Bubonic Plague. 200 million people died. If you came close to someone back then, you died. So they invented a question to save their lives. So you, you want to meet your friend Bill? So if you went out to Bill and shook his hand and said, how are you doing, Bill? You're going to die. So they invented a question. They yelled out to Bill, Bill, how are you? From a great distance. You know, they say in this uh, pandemic, uh, keep a distance. You need a big distance back then. And so Bill only had one or two questions. He didn't say, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm all right, so, so, okay, I'm playing, not bad, not too bad, you know, living a dream, wonderful. None of those answers. There were only two answers back then when the, when the question was invented. It was, I've got it! That's, a, that's the answer you didn't want to hear, and you didn't go visit your friend, or you died. The other answer, the one you wanted to hear was, I'm well! That's the correct answer. When someone says, how are you? Say, I'm well. You don't have the plate. You don't have the COVID. So, anyway, that's a little history lesson for the day. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. The word fantastic is an amazing word. 
100 people lined up for an interview, one person, and the interviewer is going to say, how are you? As everyone does. And the one person out of the 100 that says, I am fantastic, will get the job. I say I am fantastic even when I'm not. Because it makes you smile, makes you feel better, makes you look better. But it's an act of kindness to say to someone because it makes them feel fantastic. When I walk up to someone and they ask me how I am, I'm always fantastic. It makes them, their eyes light up and it gives them energy. Now, typically, when I have a big crowd like this, I ask everyone to say three statements. And because this is just a recording, it's not going to happen. But if you're watching this, do it anyway. Say, we are fantastic. And everyone says it's fantastic. Then say, you are fantastic. Everyone says it. It's fantastic. Then say, I am fantastic. When you say those three statements in the beginning of a meeting or a class, it, it raises the energy level. It gives people confidence. It, it's, it's a happy thing to do. And I really recommend it at church gatherings, at a wedding, at you know, school meetings, at clubs, at soccer clubs, wherever. Those three, it's called a fantastic rally call, by the way. And we do have a fantastic... Um, Kindness class curriculum, and um, but that's uh, on the websites that we have. At any rate, so where was I? Um, so the second commitment: be kind to everyone. Don't argue. Never worth it to have an argument. When your wife or husband or friend wants to argue, say you're right. Tell them they're right. What's the big deal? So don't argue. Don't fight. Fighting. If someone spills a beer on you, they bump into you, and you get in a fight, they fall down, they die, you go to jail the rest of your life. Do never, don't ever, ever, ever fight. Don't bully. We have an anti-bullying campaign. Bullies are cruel, insecure, unhappy people. Do not bully. Obviously, don't kill. Don't rape. Slavery, uh, we have child slavery out there. These are very unkind things. War. If you're kind to one another, we won't have war. Or violence. There's too much violence in the world. So I can go on for another hour on how to be kind to others. Say please. Say thank you. How many people don't say thank you in the world today? It's two words in English. In, it's, in French, it's merci. It's one word. In Egypt, where I'm at, it's uh, chocon. One word. And you're welcome. It's, not, it's a fantastic thing to say. Words matter. Kind words. I used to have four commitments. And one was to say kind words. But you don't say kind words to your shoes. You say kind words to others. So that's why it's in commitment number two. Be kind to all others. All creeds. And the creatures. Don't buy ivory. That's killing, ele that's killing elephants. Or greed. For money. The problems we have in the world is, are, are greed. So if you stop buying ivory, they'll stop killing the elephants. Don't buy endangered species. because it's Or shark fin soup. Where they're killing animals just for money. Even leather, they say, you know. Um, the, the exotic woods. They're destroying forests for so someone to have a really beautiful chair out of an exotic wood. So be, be kind to all others and God's creatures. is really important. Now, with, because there's, and there's 7 billion people out there, so we have, we have to live with everyone. So now let's say you're being kind to yourself and others. Now everyone's getting along. But if we can't breathe, what's the good of all that? So we must be kind to our environment. I, I, and here's where I want to apologize to all the youth of the world for the generations before you that caused code red on the planet. I don't want to say that the negative things, the polluted oceans, the streams, uh, the polluted air, the, the horrible things that are going on in the world. Climate change, because the pollution is warming the waters, which is causing horrific storms and, uh, and, and, and a climate change. I want to apologize that we, did, we gave you a world like this. Prince William is giving millions of dollars for someone to solve the problem. I have to solve the problem. And I'll tell you that here now as well. So, be kind to our environment. 4.7 trillion cigarette butts get thrown on the ground each year. One at a time. 4.7 trillion. And some of those cigarette butts have caused forest fires. Death, destruction, horror, horrific fires. One cigarette butt at a time. We must take accountability for our actions. Even some of my ambassadors, the third rule, they break. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to them, they're smoking a cigarette. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to throw it on the ground. 
Why? Because everyone else does. Well, you remember your mother? When you used to use that excuse? When you did something wrong because everyone else did it? Well, if everyone jumps off a bridge, you're going to jump off the bridge? All mothers said that. Anyway, so... We need to take accountability for our actions. I know it's tough not to throw the cigarette butt on the ground, but we have to stop doing it. It's going to wash in the ocean, a fish is going to eat it and die. There are islands of plastic in the oceans of... The Bluetooth device is really cheap help. Of plastic. Islands of plastic. Those bottles were thrown down one at a time. It's horrible. So, how else can we be kind to the environment? Well, stop littering. Stop polluting. How do we stop polluting? We drive less. A friend of mine was here, we, we want to drive across the street to get a beer. It's a one minute walk. Uh, we want to use less water. Consume less. Buy less clothes. Buy less houses. Buy less... A great example I could use is toothpaste. Seven billion people on the planet brushing their teeth. If you use one-third the less toothpaste each morning, and turn the water off while you're brushing, you're going to buy one-third the amount of toothpaste, so you're going to save some money. You're going to have one-third the amount of tubes in the landfill. I don't think they recycle toothpaste tubes. Reduce. Reuse. Recycling's fantastic. Reusing is better. Take a water jug with you. Fill it up. In the old days, they used to bring a jug and had it, had it filled with milk to bring back home. You know, um, in Egypt, uh, they have a lot of things with, you know, the plastic and the, the paper. I mean, there's just I can talk another three hours on how to be kind to the environment, but we really need to. But the, uh, they want the solution. Governments aren't going to make the solution. Corporations are not going to make the solution. Individuals taking accountability for their own actions are going to solve the problem that we have in the world. And you've inherited it, um, and people say, well, I don't make a difference. My vote doesn't count. Everybody counts. Everybody needs to take accountability for their actions. And uh, when I talk to companies, I talk about being late. I mean, I, I, I got so many subjects I talk about. I don't want to get distracted here, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, but if you go to BeFantasticToday.com, uh, or the kindness class curriculum. We have it in 105 languages. You know, we want you to start a WhatsApp group. We have 160 WhatsApp groups around the world, over 45 countries, over 60 cities, uh, specialty groups like Be Fantastic um, Lawyers, Be Fantastic Doctors, Be Fantastic Farmers. These groups are uniting in kindness. In our WhatsApp groups, we don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion. Or we don't talk business. We talk positivity, kind stories, motivation, you know, stuff. You know, they, they tried the good news one time, and the good news didn't work because people don't want good news. Lady Gaga, a huge entertainer, the Dalai Lama, and uh, 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 Philip Unschuld, a, a billionaire, got on stage five years ago to talk about kindness like I'm doing here today. This is a major star up here. In five years, I just found this uh, video a while ago, 521 people watched that video. Five. That's very sad. No one gives a darn about kindness. They like titillation, they like stupidity, they like, you know, be entertained, I understand it, but if they just keep in the back of their minds that money is not the answer, money does not buy you happiness, doing what you want to do by, uh, brings you happiness. Now, I'm going to give you, in closing, the secret to happiness, which my, I feel is the secret to happiness. And that's when you jump out of bed in the morning. When you're so excited to get out of bed, you jump out of bed. Because a lot of people, the majority of people, don't want to get out of bed. They don't want to face the day because they're not happy. Or they crawl out of bed because they know they got to get out of bed and they got to go to work. When you jump out of bed in the morning, it means you're going to look forward to your day. Because you're going to do something that you love. And when you do something you love, you do it well. It's not work. It's because you're having so much fun doing it. When you do something well, someone's going to pay you for it. You're going to make money. But that's, that's the icing on the cake. To do what you love. I mean, uh, the, the two best days in a person's life are the day they are born and the day they discover why.
I discovered my why around three years ago. My why is teach kindness. Now, was I always kind? No, I've done some mistakes. And if you watch my 1,400 videos on YouTube, you'll see I made some mistakes. Well, all my videos, by the way, are never edited, never rehearsed, and um, never um, an edit. They're just me talking to you, giving you some advice, take it or leave it. People don't like free advice. They really don't. Um, if you paid me $1,000, if this was a seminar, and you paid $1,000, you take it home and say, yeah, that's some great advice. It's free. Some people have, it's just free advice. No one wants something for free. you got to work in life. Do, but the work you should do is something that you love to do. Then it's not work. Um, I give a lot of advice. I'm a life coach. You have a goal? Five minutes a day. I've given so many people advice to follow that goal, give them what to do for five minutes. This five minutes adds up. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. I began this journey with one ambassador. I have 3,722 now. And I personally gave them their number. Because I give out the numbers, one at a time, with tens of thousands more that know about Be Fantastic, but only 3,722 um, ambassadors of kindness. We need 37 million ambassadors of kindness. We need 370 million ambassadors. We need 3.7 billion ambassadors of kindness. One day, the world will come together when the aliens come down, and we say, well, we, Russia, Ukraine, China, we all have to get along. Unite. Be kind to one another. Choose kindness. Uh, walk away from negative people. Get negative people out of your life. Now, again, I can talk for hours. And uh, if you want to watch my videos and learn and grow, that would be fantastic. I, I, this is my life's mission. This is my gift to the world. Kindness. There's many organizations out there. I've listed them on my site. Over 20 major national, international Organizations dedicated to kindness. Kindness counts. Kindness is fantastic. If people don't see the, the, the reward right away, I've got over 40 countries in, in Africa, and they, a lot of them come in and for me. Well, there's, as I told you earlier, you're going to live longer, be happier, and all that stuff. But I want people to come into this organization saying, how can I help? That's how we're going to make the world a better place. When people come in and say, how can I help? Not what's in it for me. There's a lot in it for you by joining Be Fantastic International. Believe me. Well, happiness, a longer life, more success. Believe me. Use the word fantastic. Tell people to have a fantastic day. Tell your loved ones they're fantastic. Be fantastic. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic. It means unimaginably great and beautiful in the dictionary. It's a fantastic word. Again, energy, positivity, kindness, and love in one word. Use it every day. You can't overuse it. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. Um, go to my websites, uh, uh, drfantasticsworld.com, Be Fantastic Today. I go around Channel Now, and I give free talks. Love it. Every day I change someone's life. I've saved lives with positive life. People need to hear my words. They need to hear positive words. Um, and my admins for all those groups are carrying my word forward. Become a country admin. You're in charge of the city admins underneath that country. And the power's off. I'm off. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And Dr. Fantastic, out. Drop the mic, right? Have fun in life. Don't be so serious about life. It's, your life is your own personal movie. Your name's Bill. You're the, Bill, you're the star of that movie. You're not only the star of that movie, you're the director, producer, screenwriter, editor of that movie. Make it a fantastic movie. I have had the most fantastic life. I mean, I've been in the most amazing places, met the richest people in the world, met the poorest people in the world, the smartest people in the world, the dumbest people in the world. I've met so many people, and that's how I got my education. That's how I got the knowledge I have to share with you. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the easier life is. That's why when I gave all my worldly possessions to my wife and, and give it all away, I knew I could survive without any money. Now, I went through, like I said, 22 states, 18,000 miles in America, giving speeches. And then Ukraine, uh, Kiev, uh, Odessa, and uh, Lviv. 
then Egypt, and now in Egypt, I was in Cairo, made some fantastic videos at the pyramids, came to Sharp and ran out of money. How lucky can a guy get to run out of money, I guess I'm stuck here, um, in the most fantastic place on the planet. Sharm el Sheikh is the best weather. It rains once a year for a day. It has fantastic kind people. It has the most fantastic snorkeling and diving in the world. Five of the top hotels in the world are in Sharm. And I have some big plans for Sharm. I wanted to make, to make it the most fantastic city in the world. Everybody says fantastic. Everyone is kind to one another. And it's just, I'm really happy to be here. I do, I am going to travel, so I'm going to have some funding to Africa and around the world. Always, I think I always come back to Sharm, because in the interviews I've conducted here, the people who've been around the world say, you either, which, once you discover Sharm, you either always come back or never leave. And uh, it's fantastic here. Great place to run out of money. I look at, I don't, I can't see negative. I ran out of money, I don't see it negative. I know how to survive. I'm a survivor. I've done over, I've done 99 different professions in my life. Santa Claus being my favorite. You should see my Mia Santa. Grew a beard for a year just to be Santa for my grandkids. You know, have fun in life. Don't take it so serious. Don't follow all the rules. Don't break the rules. I mean, you know, there's a little fight in that line here. But, um, you know, make your own rules. I mean, how does that sound? Be responsible for yourself. Take accountability for your actions. It's up to you to be happy. No one's going to make you happy. You have to bring happiness unto yourself. And one of the ways is by being kind to yourself, to others, to the environment. Dr. Fantastic out. I could go on for hours, but I know you have things to do, places to go, money to spend, and fun to have. So thanks for watching. And please, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Be Fantastic. If you like what I'm saying, hit like. And please share it with the world. Join a group, start a group. We have 191 countries in the world. We only have 45, 46 countries now. So 140 to go. 10,000 cities in the world. We only have 60. We have a few of those to add in. And nine, 7 billion people on the planet to introduce the three commitments to kindness. It's fantastic. It's changed a lot of lives. I'm happy to do it. I don't do it for money. I don't want to make money. I just want to have my three fantastic meals a day and a fantastic place to stay and meet fantastic people every day. Invite me to your hometown, invite me to your country, invite me to talk on your stage. Um, uh, I had uh, two fantastic days at the World Forum, even though I didn't get in, met some fantastic people. Next year I'll be speaking here. And um, again, how many times can I say goodbye? <laughs> when you ever say goodbye, say have a fantastic day. Don't say have a good day. Who wants to have a good day when you have a fantastic day? You want to go to a good doctor or a fantastic doctor? You want to have a good life or a fantastic life? It's, 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 it's a no-brainer in my opinion. Dr. Fantastic, out. Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel, where you will find many fantastic interviews with amazing people. Visit the top world museums, incredible zoos, beautiful national parks, special events and much more. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like and share. Overpopulated cities around the world have caused people to become a greedy, selfish, and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say, I am fantastic. It will make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic.